So many of you with a Mac have asked me how you can get your photos off your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch because they're taking up space or you might want to take a particular one. And iPhoto can take a while to load so uh, there is another application that is really good for this called Image Capture. And you can find it in your applications and if you go down you can just go down to Image Capture here and just double click you could also bring it up using Spotlight as well. You'll see normally by default it sorts by name. So it's got the name that the device has given it. So there you can see they're in order one, two, three, four. You can sort by date as well. So all you have to do is click at the top here. And at the moment it's doing it from the most recent to the oldest at the bottom. So I just have to click to reverse the order. And again, you might be looking for something by particular file size. So if I click on that, I can actually now got the biggest ones up at the top and again these are the ones the smallest at the bottom so I could easily just go through and select them. There's all sorts of other information, aperture depth and so on but if I go across you also do have location and you could sort by location to find some that are in a particular place as well. So I want to select some. I've got it done by file size over here and quite simply to select them, if you want to do just one, you just click on one that you want, or you can hold down the command key and keep the command key down and click on them. With the command key held down, if you click on it again, it deselects it. So I could go through and choose a whole load of them here. I now need to decide where I'm going to put them, and at the moment it's putting it into the pictures folder, which is somewhere actually I'm going to put it. However, I can choose to put it onto my desktop, documents, iPhoto, preview mail. I can build a web page with it, make a PDF, or if I choose other, I could actually choose a particular folder where I would like it to go. But I'm happy with it going into pictures. If these are the only ones I want, then I just simply click on import. If I want all of them, I can choose import all. Things you need to know and to be really careful about is here you've got a delete button. So when you've imported them, you can press that delete and it will delete those images and videos off of your device. And be really careful with that. Please don't click on that if you're not sure about deleting it. And if you have brought things over onto your computer, please back them up. Because just because you've put them on here doesn't mean that they're necessarily safe either. Other things that you might be interested in is that at the moment it's showing it as a list. I can have it tiled so I can see them like that. I do prefer it in the list here because then I can see more information. So that is how you can copy your photos and videos from your iOS device onto your Mac.